Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about some Electro Voice microphones that I just bought off of eBay for super cheap. I am a gigantic fan of Electro Voice microphones, and if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I bring them up quite a lot. And the reason I bring them up quite a lot is because I think they are fantastic microphones that can still be bought at a reasonable price used. And you might be thinking, Mario, what in the are you talking about? These microphones are going for hundreds of dollars on eBay. And yes, I totally agree with you. That is a lot of money and that is not cheap. However, there are a few ways you can still get these microphones cheap. And one of the ways is when you buy them without the plastic grill over the microphone variable D slot, which is exactly how I got these groups of microphones for so cheap. But in my hands from left to right, I have four microphones in my hand. The one all the way to the left is the EV635A. This does not have that variable D slot. It is an omnidirectional microphone, so we don't have to worry about that one today. The next one is an RE18, then an RE10, and then finally an RE11. And the purpose of this variable D slot on these microphones is to virtually eliminate the proximity effect in these microphones. And this characteristic is what makes these microphones stand out from their contemporaries. I really recommend these microphones and I think they make a fine addition to any home recording studio. And here we have an example of the grill that should be covering this variable D slot. And even though these microphones do not have this grill, they still work as intended. This grill is merely for protection of this underlying white mesh. And normally you're able to buy a replacement plastic grill that goes over this slot, but they are currently out of stock and I don't think they're in production anymore from Electro Voice and there's just no suitable replacement that can easily be bought online. And today we're gonna have to design and produce our own grill. Since I already owned a microphone that had this missing piece intact, I was able to make some quick measurements with my calipers and make a quick drawing. So let's talk about the design of this grill a little bit. It's a very thin piece of plastic. There is a slight camber that matches the profile of the microphone. And there are 24 slots evenly spaced within the piece. I then modeled this on my computer in a 3D modeling software. Then I had my buddy John come over with his 3D printer so we could print out a couple. The 3D printing process went way better than I was expecting. In the experience I had with 3D printers in the past, it was a pain to get it working right. There's multiple mistakes, but luckily John was able to smack this thing around a bit and get it to behave well enough. After we got a first successful print, I did a dry run to see if the grill fit inside one of these slots. The dry run went well, so we decided to make a whole batch of these little grills. To install these grills, I just put a little bit of super glue and applied it with a toothpick on the edge of the slots and I fit that bad boy right in. The color is slightly off from the originals, but honestly, I don't care. These microphones are in uh, rough shape to begin with and the purpose of me fixing these microphones was just for the utilitarian purpose and not for it to necessarily look good. I just wanted to make sure I was able to safely cover the white mesh in this slot and do it so effectively. And if you pick up this microphone, you could definitely tell it's a 3D printed part. It's not smooth and shiny like the original, but I had the slots pretty much exactly how they were and it looks pretty good in my opinion. But hey, who am I to toot my own horn? And if you are to buy one of these microphones without one of these grills, make sure the white mesh underneath is not punctured or ruined in any way because that part is definitely important in making sure your microphone works correctly. And if you were able to find these microphones in person somewhere for sale, you're definitely not going to be paying eBay prices like you see. You could get them for super cheap. I remember I bought my RE15 when I first started recording at a flea market for something like 20 bucks. And, you know, these microphones are going for $600, $700 on eBay. And it's hard to justify that price. And definitely do search on eBay for ones that are missing this grill because they often get sold for really cheap. I bought these four microphones 
plus another microphone that I did not show in this video because it is, uh, you know, a different type of microphone. I got these five microphones for about $200. That's about $40 per mic. That is a really cheap price in my opinion, especially for a microphone as solid as an Electro Voice microphone. And you better be quick to look on eBay because there's a good chance that I'm going to snatch it up before you do. If anybody is interested in purchasing one of these, please contact me through my email. That is all for today. I'm going to close off this video with a fade out of a song featuring a lot of these microphones being used. And remember, a microphone a day gets the early worm. Good night, Tulsa, Alabama.